<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Crystal Sky. I know I haven't recorded in a while. I just haven't got any ideas and I didn't want to like put boring content out there. But I, today I'm going to be telling you guys a story. And <clears throat> by the picture you can see that it's like a beach thing. Yesterday we went to this beach called Bulmer's. Um... I forgot the other name. Bulmer's Wind Resort. So, um, yeah, the story was crazy. So, um, yeah, today is kind of like a story time thing. But yesterday we went to Bill's, Belmore's Res- Wind's Resort. And this is like a closed area in Oshawa. Sort of Oshawa. I don't know. It's not really close in Oshawa. It's somewhere in Toronto, I think. Or maybe it's not. No, I don't think... Wait, actually, no. I don't think it is. (laughs) But yeah, Bellsmore Winds is somewhere in Canada. I don't know specifically where. Because obviously I was not the person who was driving the car. My mom was. So on the road trip, we went with my mom... Me, my baby sister, and my mom's friend, Firuza. Um, so, we went to this place. We first, we went, before we went there, guys, we were, like, driving to another place. Um, but then we found out that there is Ontario Lake. And if you, any of you guys know anything about Ontario Lake, it is very cold, very freezing, and it's just... Not recommended to swim. Unless, like, you guys are, like, really, like, used to the cold. Like, if you're the type of Canadian person that is full-on used to the cold and used to, like, the freezing water that can literally go swim during the winter time, then you can go swimming. In, like, you can go swimming in the Ontario Lake. But this girl, guys, her family is not like that. So... <clears throat> I can barely, guys, dip my feet in to Ontario Lake without having my leg completely feel like it's being twisted from the cold. So, first, when I found that out, we're like, no, is there any other resort around here? And my mom's friend said that there is this place called Bulmer's Wind Resort. Now, there's a lot of resorts there. This is just one of them. And we decided to drive there. So we kept driving and driving. It was like literally one hour in, like one hour, two hour in the car. We were trying to like find it. There was a lot of great houses, guys. Like it's a, it's a great area. The only problem, guys, if you rely on your phone, like you want to take pictures or you want to like go live or something like that or text your friends that you're there. There is one problem, is that you some people have no service. When we... I had no service and neither did my mom's friend, Firuza. Both of us didn't have, like, iPhone service. The only person who had iPhone service was my mom, which is, well, super lucky. But, yeah, we didn't have any service out there except my mom. But, so... We had to entertain my baby sister. She was drawing, but it's a great place. So we saw a lot of cows, horses. We saw a lot, a lot, a lot. Like there was cornfields, there was berry fields, there was lavender, there was a full on like a sale, like where they sell like a bunch of like wooden like stuff made out of wood like toys like yeah like grandfather clocks like it was super cool and we also drove by another one where they sell anything made out of like um i think it was iron i'm not really sure i think it was iron but we saw a big giant like sorry if my voice sounds screechy i was diving guys yesterday the entire day, my mom could not get me out of water, I swear. I was diving literally all day yesterday. Like, I was literally... 
I was diving the whole day yesterday, guys, to the point where my ears started ringing every time I would dive. Like that, but I couldn't stop because, well, this girl loves to dive. But yeah, um, but that was like later on. But um, pretty much we drove by this other place where there was a huge giant dinosaur made out of, I think, I think it was iron. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> so we drove by that place, me and my mom. Pretty much everyone in the car just started laughing, including my baby sister. It was so cute. So we made jokes, we sang songs, we told stories. <clears throat> Pretty much, guys, it was only a girl's day. So after we kept driving for about two hours trying to search for the place, my mom has got finally found another place in Windsor. In Windsor. Not Windsor, in a Winds resorts again, one of the resorts. <clears throat> but before that happened, what happened was we drove into one place where it's like there's also like this like little area to swim and like a beach area, but it was closed. So when you first enter it, it's kind of like. You go through this place and you end up on the beach, but it is close. So, but there was like a bunch of like there was a boat dock. There was lots of boats, and on one side, it actually the buildings, the apartments actually looked like you were in Italy. Like the area felt like you were like in Italy when you turned your head to the apartments. Not the whole area looked like you were in Italy, but a little bit. Half of the area looked. Like you were in Italy, which I found super cool. But yeah, after that, we realized that the beach was closed, so we looked for a next resort. So on the next resort, we also drove for about two hours back to the suburbs. We kept driving, kept telling stories, joking, and finally we arrived at another resort. There was a gas station and a little shops. Then the GPS pointed us upwards. So we drove, and then we realized that we drove past them. We drove onto this closed area where you can go kayaking. So my mom did a little U-turn, like she turned around and drove back. We drove into the place, and it was houses that were guys. I swear, it was like a junkyard. If you guys go there, I'm telling you, the place that we were was like a junkyard. It's my mom and me were appalled. Like seriously, we were like, "What is this place?" Like, yeah. So we drove, and there, there was a lake beside it. Yes, but we're like, "Ew, who would go here?" So we turned around, because I'm literally telling you guys, it was like a junkyard. Next time I go, guys, I guarantee you that I will definitely make a vlog about it. Well, not guarantee, but I will definitely try to make a vlog about it because I'm telling you. That place was, that place was like a junkyard. <clears throat> if we ever go there, or if I find a picture, guys, then, um, I don't know. I'll we'll maybe try to insert it in my next story time, but um, yeah. But it was like a junkyard. So after we drove back, we drove back to the little gas station, and my mom's like, "Guys, maybe we should ask someone for directions or for some help." And, and I said, "Sure." And so then my mom's friend, and she's like, "We saw some people coming out of the shops. We're like, we can ask them." And my mom's my mom's like, she turns her head, she parks, she turns her head to my. Her friend Firuza and she is like, go ask them. She is like, no, 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 I don't want to ask them. You go ask them. Then I completely lose my temper, like not fully lose it. I'm gonna be like, you guys wait here, and I'm gonna go ask. <laughs> and I went to the car. I went out of the car and I went to ask. I'm like, excuse me, do you know where this like resort is? Where, you know, there's a playground for kids and also a beach. They said, yeah, there is. Then my mom's. Friend Firuza came over to me and the guy that she can get the directions where to go. 
he is like you can we're going there actually you can follow us we're like oh thank you so we got back in the car and we followed the person to the resort after driving for also about one one half hour one and a half hour we finally made it to the resort and yeah we parked the car (laughs) And the guy, the guy came over to us, and we came out of the car. He's like, so here is like the across the parking lot. Here is the playgrounds for the kids. So there was like a playground and a little like swimming pool for the kids. And then down the road, you are gonna see a beach, and like we're like, thank you so much. So whoever you are, if you watch my videos. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for showing us the resort if you're watching this. So, um, yeah, after that, guys, after he left, he, of course, went with his family somewhere to the resort and we went with ours. So, um, you know, after unloading, the, after checking out the place, we found out that, that the water was good enough to swim. It wasn't too cold, but it wasn't too warm either. It was uh, in between like a normal water should so after that we went my mom stayed in a place with my baby sister while me and my mom's friend Firuza went to get the stuff out of the car so we got like you know the snacks the food the big cooler that has the food and we pretty much went but at that time guys I didn't realize it but I have left my AirPods in my in the car, and my mom's car is black, which means that it it tends to in hot weather it tends to heat up like an oven, guys. So when you go in the car, it literally feels like you're on an oven stove, because you know it's not it doesn't like some cars, guys. They absorb the sun, and the car becomes super heated inside. Some cars, if you leave them in the sun, they don't absorb it, which means the car stays cool. Even it does become a little warm, but mostly it stays cool. But my mom's car, guys, absorbs the sun, which means when we literally set into the car, it was, oh my goodness, it was like a hot boiler. And as I said at the time, I didn't realize this. But I left my AirPod case in the side of the car door. Now, I was so excited to go swimming that the whole... Is my is my AirPods in my backpack completely went flying out of my head, guys. Yeah, but we went to go swimming. We set up a little, like, camp by the shade. And we all went swimming. There wasn't a lot of people there, which... This girl is very shy, so I'm so glad there is there wasn't a lot of people like I'm thankful for that. But yeah, guys, so pretty much it was it was a great place. Technically, it's a great place to go, but if you're worried about having service, I suppose it's not the most great place to go, but otherwise it's pretty much a great place. But, so yeah, we went all swimming, we tried to teach my sister how to swim, it was super fun, my sister kept chasing me, <laughs> she kept chasing me and like saying my name, like, go, 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 <laughs> like, she kept chasing me, I kept splashing her, like, it was so much fun, guys. As you see in the picture that I'm showing you now, at the back, right at the back over here, guys, is where we set our camp, like, not camp, but like, our little place. So there is boons, and um, you can't see in the picture, but there is boons where um, you are not allowed to swim past because it might get, like, deep there. But the water for children, the water is pretty, it's not that deep, guys. When you first enter the water, there is a lot of rocks on it, which you can end up cutting your foot or damaging it. So when you first come in, there's a lot of rocks and they're very sharp so when if you go there guys do keep that in mind to be careful and not fall because th- you're gonna bleed yeah but i actually got <laughs> a lot of scratches i got a scratch 
I got like five or four scratches, guys, yesterday. Three, four scratches on my foot. Not on my foot, but on my um upper ankle area. I got four scratches there. I got two scratches on my um thing on my right hand and two scratches on my left. So, yeah, this girl got a lot of scratches. Oh, also, I forgot to add, I also got one scratch on my left knee. Oh, so, well, yeah, I got four scratches on my right and one scratch on my left knee. Yeah, so, it's because I was, I don't know how to properly swim. So, I know how to do the dolphin kick, which, if you guys don't know what the dolphin kick is, it's for when... There is, uh, some people work, guys, as professional mermaids. Everyone knows that. There's people who work as professional mermaids. And to swim, they swim by doing the dolphin kick. So that's the only way I could swim. I'm not a professional mermaid. Gosh, I wish I was, but I'm not, guys. But I do know how to swim um, like them a little bit. So, yeah, but that's the only way I could swim. Anyway, guys, that's not the point. The point is... My sister kept chasing me, and I kept kicking, and I kept swimming away. And just before I realized it, I was close to the shore where the rocks started showing up, and I ended up scratching my knees. Thank goodness I did not bleed, but I did scratch. And also, I forgot to say, I did scratch the bottom of my foot. Twice. Both of my feet, actually. But that's fine. Yeah, but guys, we were swimming, we were teaching her how to swim, and when you first enter the beach, it's hard to see in the picture that I have here, but yeah, it's pretty much a beach area, but on the other side, there's also a small, small, small little place where you can put yachts. Now, this yacht yacht station is not as big as the one that we first encountered. It's not as big. It's a, It's actually very small. Yeah, it looks like you can rent a yacht there. Or if you have one, you can place it there. But I think it's just to rent them. I'm not really sure. Yeah, but after we went on to swimming, we went off, of course. And we had some lunch. My mom set out a big, giant, like, a blanket. Well, it's not a blanket. It's kind of like... I don't even know what the material is made out of, but it's kind of like a sunbathing like thing that you can carry around. I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of yeah. It's made kind of out of like. It kind of looks like um you know the um, uh, the pad thing for the sushi. It kind of looks like that, um. But it's like for laying down and stuff, and it's obviously made out of fabric, but. Yeah, so my mom had that. She laid that out onto the thing to make it like a blanket instead, f- instead of like for where to put the food. So then we just got all the food out of, out of the cooler. We just drank some juice. Like my sister didn't really, my sister didn't really eat that much. I don't know why. Yeah, but she didn't eat that much. But we finally got her to eat. We chilled out for a little bit. We sunbathed, and we did sun. Um, uh, we did sun spray. Everyone, aka sunscreen, spray everyone, including my sister. But um, I still out of everyone in our group, I literally got burned at the top of my shoulders, like crispy chicken. And <laughs> yeah, guys, like a crispy chicken. And, yeah, <laughs> it's okay, though. It still kind of burns today, guys, but it doesn't burn that much. So, yeah, I got burned like a crispy chicken, but at the time, I actually <laughs> did not realize that. So, I went back to diving into the water. We all went swimming again for a couple minutes. We FaceTimed my stepdad to... Let him know that, like, we're trying to teach her how to swim and stuff and how we're getting on. So, we also brought two floaties out for my sister, of course. 
of course and i do have um i do have a little like um what's it called flamingo floaty but i didn't feel like bringing it out because the water was really shallow like seriously guys the water is really shallow so yeah the only problem that was with the whole trip so yeah was the fact that the water guys was a bit dirty that's the only problem the water is a bit dirty in some areas but besides that that's pretty much the it's pretty much an okay place to swim i would give it like a four i don't know four out of ten four out of ten my mom gave it also a four out of ten and my, yeah but otherwise than the water being dirty in some places it's guys definitely sorry guys yeah sorry the plane just flew by but yeah otherwise than that it's actually a very great place to go swimming if like you don't want like a big crowd of people and the place is very quiet too which is good and you can also rent their cottages, guys, and stuff. But I wouldn't recommend it, to be honest. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Like, if you want, like, a big cottage, then I would definitely recommend something else. But, yeah, because I've been, I've been definitely in a cottage. I've been in a cottage once in my life, guys. It was on my real dad's birthday. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> but, um... What else, what else, what else? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> just remembered. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, after we went swimming, um, the girls got out of the water, including my baby sister. Because my baby sister actually ended up choking on a bit of the water. So we're like, nope, I think she had enough swimming. Because obviously she is still only turning four, guys. So we don't want anything to happen. So after that, um, after they have gone out, I still, I'm like, mom, are we going home? She's all like, no, keep swimming. So of course, I said, Heck yes, because, you know what, I we don't exactly have a swimming pool in the house, guys. So, I'm like, yes, I'm swimming. So, I stayed swimming for about, until, okay, so we ate. Yeah, so we ate the food around, alright, so it was around 3 3.36. So that's when we ate the food and we like went back. So I swam until like... I swam like I think until... I don't really remember guys. Maybe, maybe like for one hour I swam there I think. One or two. Somewhere around there. Yeah, but after I was done with swimming, um, but I didn't just swim. I also had some water goggles on. And I asked my friend Firuza for a bag. And I started, like, collecting a few rocks that I found that were, like, you know, I feel like they're unique. Because, guys, if you don't know, you probably, I never probably told you the story. Or even mentioned it in one of my videos. But when I was a kid. Like a very small kid. I used to collect rocks guys. Believe it or not. I used to have a I used to have like a whole box. Just a box. Like one of those like plastic little box containers. That you can buy at Dollarama. I had that type of small box. Like a medium. It wasn't like one of those big ones. It was like a medium. I had... Every rock you guys could possibly imagine, I had in there. Small to big to giant rocks. I had it, guys. I had just a whole box of rocks. And I would draw, color them, 
paint them, name them, you name it, I would do it <laughs> when I was a kid. So, yeah, I used to love and enjoy rocks. That was used that used to be one of my passions because at the time, obviously, my mom would not allow me to get a phone, and exactly our family wasn't exactly in the best conditions to get me a phone. So, but that was back in my old country, guys. But back to the story that is of today. So, um, yeah, I collected some rocks that I thought were unique and that I could take home. Some of them were, like, black with, like, a bit of, like, green on it, like, on the rock. Like, it was pr- it was pretty cool, so I took them home. And, yeah, after, after I got out of swimming and scuba diving, not scuba diving, but, like, you know, putting a mask on and I kept diving, diving, Till I found anything. But I did choke on water multiple times because I started to panic because I was trying to hold my breath longer than I was able to. So when I started panicking, I slowly accidentally, I mean, slowly and accidentally opened my mouth and got water. I'm like, oh my goodness, I have got to stop doing that. That happened three times, guys. So after the third time of coming back from the dive, I decided, like, you know what? I think this is enough rocks because at this point I could feel, guys, that my ears were ringing because of I just kept, like, I kept finding the rocks, putting them back, quickly taking a breath, and just diving straight down again. And I kept doing it and doing it and doing it without taking, like, a break on the surface before I go back down to search and just kept diving 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 so yeah like i would come back guys to the surface then i want to dive back down come back one two and that's it now i kept doing that um which i do recommend not to do that i mean like if you do miss the water like me i understand but i just recommend don't do that because i swear you're literally gonna he- hear straight like weird things if we keep doing that like i literally guys started to hear strange things every time i dive down even at one even at one point i literally heard my own name like guys and i was not the one saying it because obviously i was underwater but it was crazy so i wouldn't recommend it Unless you like wearing, hearing strange things in your life, then that's your choice. I personally, I mean, it was fascinating, but it's definitely dangerous. So, yeah, after coming back onto the surface, we just laid down for a bit. And I asked my mom to take some pictures of me, which if I slide my phone right now, you could probably see them. But I... I don't know. Yeah, but I just asked her to take, like, a picture of me on... Of, like, me, like, sitting, my blanket wrapped around me. Like, because I was freezing, guys, and I wanted to have, like, a, you know, picture of memory in case we never go there again. Which I think we will at one point. But, yeah, so... After that, we definitely went. We started packing slowly after I have dried. We started packing our bags and the food. We started packing the food first. And, like, first, then the girls started getting dressed one at a time. Obviously, guys, like, we would cover each other with a blanket to make sure no one else around us saw obviously because we won't change into in a public area like that and there isn't exactly guys stalls on the beach so we want to help each other out we would like hold like a towel or a blanket that is like super sorry guys super big then yeah to cover the other person to make sure no one sees while they're changing yeah, but after getting changed, we started slowly finishing with, like, packing all the food and stuff. We f- started finishing all of that. 
And then, guys, I wanted to wash my feet off, so I did. So pretty much after we packed all the stuff and we started walking back to the car, we were exhausted. It was really, really, really hot out. So pretty much after driving... Not driving, whoops. Sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? After getting back in the car... We started to pack all the things and I turn to the side of the door and I see that my AirPods are there. And I'm like, oh my God, tell me I did not leave my AirPods in the car. So I open my AirPods, check my phone. They're not working. I plug my AirPods in. They're not working. My AirPods, guys, were like boiling water. Like I touched them. They were like boiling water, you guys. It was not even funny. Like, it was not, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. It was not even funny, guys. It was, like, boiling water. And I started to panic. I'm like, what if I break them? What if, like, this and that? My mom says, just let them cool down. Like, wait until we get home. Let them cool down. I'm sure you didn't break them. So I'm like, okay, maybe you're right. So on the way home, I was super tired. So I'm like, guys, I'm going to, like, take a nap. And my parents, of course, well, not parents, but my mom and um, my mom's friend, Firuza, didn't, of course, hear me because they were talking to themselves. So, um, not to themselves, but, like, to each other. Excuse me. And, um, yeah, they didn't hear me, so I laid my head down to the side, which I probably realized now was a mistake because when I woke up, guys, when we got home, my neck was in pain, guys. But, um, yeah, my mom's, my mom turns over to me. She is like, oh, Nastya's asleep. Because that's my real name in real life. Um, and I'm like, no, not yet. I turn my head and I'm like, no, not yet. She's like, okay. So then I go back, I close my eyes, I and I fall asleep. And I don't know how long we were driving for because obviously I was asleep. But then my mom wakes me up, she's like, nice to wear home. I'm like, hmm? And of course, I like wake up with like, you know, that sleepy, like, where are we? Realization. And I'm just like, we're home. So I... Sh- I slowly sit up, try to move my neck, and I realize that there is a pain at the side of my neck. So I try to stretch out a little bit, but also it causes me pain because I obviously slept with my neck like tilted downwards. Um, not downwards, but like to the side. You know how when the car guys, when you want to sleep, you like move your neck to the side to like lay it like on the side of the window or like something on those sides that that was the position that I slept in except I was in the front seat which means I didn't exactly have the chance to lay my neck on something so my neck was just on my shoulder so I ended up sleeping like that but when I woke up I started to gather the stuff and I realized that I was sunburned. No, so, it was really funny to me at the time. So we just started unloading the stuff into the car. But yeah, guys, but we got home nice and safe. And yeah, that's my story of the build, build one. I forgot the name of the beach again. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, build one, build one. I forgot the name. <laughs> goodness, goodness, goodness. But yeah, I forgot the name. I'm sorry. But I think it's called Bowman. Bowman. Bowman Wins Resort, I think. Tell me what I said. Sorry, guys, if you hear a lot of activities outside, but I think it's called Bowman Wins Resort. Tell me guys what I said in my in this video pre like previously. Like um 
Yeah, but I will just leave it in the comments section, the actual name of the beach. But anyway, yeah, so on a scale of 1 to 10, guys, I would definitely say this beach is definitely at a 4 because the water is clean, but it's not, like, clean, clean. So, yeah, it's just from 1 to 10, it's a scale of 4. But I hope you guys enjoyed hearing the story. If you guys definitely want to go to this beach yourself and raid it, like, in your opinion, and tell a story about it, go ahead, guys. I will leave a link of the actual name in the description, as I said earlier. And I hope you guys all enjoyed my story today, and I'll catch you guys next time.